get to it. Uh, start with the this buck. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, five, six, seven. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 7. This jimping, look at my finger. Hurting. Go away. Nine. Forty. Forty one. Forty two. Forty three. Forty four. Forty five. Forty six. Forty seven. Forty eight. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Off. Sixty. Sixty-one. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, pushing very hard. 72, 73, okay, doesn't cut anymore, okay, tell me this is not impressive, 73 cuts, so they, they put their money in their design, go away, go. They put their money and their design on the steel, not on the handle, okay? This is a great knife, guys, steel-wise, okay? It's dull now, okay? But 73 cuts, very impressive, very impressive. We know the... ABL will do like about 90 to 100 cuts. We're not gonna do it, we've done so many. But 73 cuts, it's very impressive. Let's do the big blade now. Let's see how many we can get off the big blades. One second. It's 
right here. Okay. Let's start with this one. Go away, please. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Okay, why this is dull now? Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. 35. Okay, I see something. 5. Can you see this? 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. 41. Okay, this one. It's almost dull with 41. 2. 43. It doesn't cut. Okay, so 44 on this blade. Okay, 44. Huh. Okay. Now, I don't know what's the difference. Okay, if you guys know about buck knives, leave a comment. What is the difference between this one and this steel? Because this is better steel. Yeah. what's the difference because this did 44 and this did 73 okay let's see the big one the other uh, big one now This doesn't cut already. 15. This doesn't cut already. 21. 22. 23. 24. 24 and this one is dull. Okay, I don't understand. So, another question now for you guys. What's the difference with this one? I don't know if you see those numbers. Okay, this did like 24. This did like 30, 70. This is the champ. Okay, the cheapest one. Most uncomfortable handle ever. And he did such good cuts. This is second. So I, now since we're there, let's try this one. Okay, this is the steel. Uh, no, this is the knife. Let's do some of this one. Because now I'm very curious. They have different steels, what's going on? Seven, 
Let's get rid of some of that. 36, okay? cutting four Okay, so to wrap up that video uh, with the buck knives. Uh, the difference uh, on, uh, first of all, let's start with buck knives, what I've seen, okay? They are pretty good knives. I'm uh, impressively good, uh, especially for the money you, you buy them, right? Uh, but they are uh, a game prep uh, game skinning knife uh, could you do other tasks with them yes yes you could I'm not saying that you can but uh, you're not uh, you're lacking on sharpening and uh, the edge is not as as low as I am, I'm used to now with the custom knives from uh, WC and you don't have behind your mind the security behind it like thinking okay so I have my good knife and uh, I could just you know do pretty much whatever I want I can even like I demonstrated I can chip bone if I have to I can chop if I have to you don't have that and uh, well you're gonna tell me you need an axe for that and I totally agree it's not some tasks you can take with your knives anyway but the biggest the biggest downfall I found with those knives testing them for uh, for a few days actually is the handles the handles and the positions you get gripping the knife it's not it's not optimal like f like even for skinning if you realize how how much you you move your hand uh, when you're skinning through the blade, these the, the, the like, yeah. Even though the edge can take it, and the design is not bad on the actual blade, the uh, the handle is not there. It's not where I want it. Uh, other than that, for something cheap, for uh, you know, for someone that doesn't really like I said at the beginning, doesn't really put a big value on, on the knife. Uh, go for it why not it's like steel wise it's heat treat wise it's better than uh, some of the uh, other uh, expensive ones we test like uh, that they're a couple hundred dollars but uh, they're not bad and uh, that th that's the end of uh, that video uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time